So it's one of the busiest earnings week, but trading volume has been low. Why the lull? Certainly has. Coming off a uh, you know a, a long holiday weekend from last week, um, and yes, there is a lot on the calendar this week as far as earnings and economic data is concerned. And sometimes when we see that, and you couple that with all the major headlines that are still looming out there, gives an investors you know an opportunity to take a pause and take a breath just to see how the market's going to react. We've had some really positive market reactions over the last quarter, and investors might feel a little skeptical about which way it's really going to move at this point now. Um, historically, over time, earnings season does boost the market, but you know the, the other side of that camp is how much further, how much higher can we go? So I think right now we're just waiting. It's this wait and see mode to see how the market is going to react to all the economic data and earnings this week. How much higher do you see oil going? You know, there's a interesting you know push and pull with oil that's going back and forth um, between you know individual company uh, countries and OPEC. OPEC's got a, a big meeting coming out in the end of June, and I think that's going to uh, that's going to certainly give some sort of direction as to what they're thinking. But as we continue to read headlines about you know production and output, um, you know oil prices seem to be you know drifting higher, and I think that's going to continue until we get to that end of June date. And the U.S. going harder on those sanctions on Iran. What is the, you mentioned the economy. Do we have a clear grasp of the economic picture, would you say? Uh, not just yet. I mean, su such an interesting time that we're, we're kind of in right now as we continue to talk about, you know, tariffs with Europe and tariffs with, with China, uh, oil sanctions. And, and let's not forget, you know, we're, we're beginning of May of, of 2019. Every month we're getting closer and closer to this 2020 election, right? And these topics that are coming out. And it's going to get to a point, I think, where President Trump has uh, flexed his muscles over time. But he might get to a point where he might have to pull back a little bit and, and put his campaign hat on and, and campaign on what he's done and what he plans to do and, and maybe put a pause in his, uh, in his actions there. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see the, how that plays out.